In the philosopher's garden that you have created here, could you please discuss more about philosophy in our current times? One of the things that I have felt for a long time is that we lack philosophy in this culture. We have economic philosophy, we have political philosophy, but not philosophia, which is the love of wisdom. And that's why part of my journey and, and exploration of these things has led to bringing all of this back to where we live, what matters to us. Because philosophy, philosophia, is not debate. It's not being the smartest guy in the group who understands and is clever and cynical and reduced everything into what it is not. But actually, it's this story that says philosophia, the story of a deeper love, says if you bring something nourishing to the plate, you will bring a meal that nourishes all. Now, if we think of this like we think of theater or we think of music, what we understand is that everybody brings in their part or with their instrument a different voice to a larger conversation and that the larger conversation is the key. Everyone's responsible for their part in it, but they're actually in service to a larger ideal. This is what philosophy, philosophia is for me. And that's why we're sitting in my creation of the Philosopher's Garden. And like life, this did not come out of something that was happy. It came out of a personal tragedy. For a dear friend of mine, Lita Albuquerque, who is an extraordinary artist and human being, and she lost, along with her husband and their family, they lost their home, she lost her studio, and she lost 50 years of art journals that were being prepared to be sent to the Smithsonian for permanent record and they were all destroyed. And so on the foundation of a studio that I couldn't build, be, build because the land itself said, this is a land of the ancestors, nothing is to be built here. I used the foundation and found a way to create the philosopher's garden as this great dedication, certainly to Lita and what she lost, but then to neighbors and all that they lost because everyone is on their knees that when you lose everything that matters to you, your identity, all of that becomes so hurt, so traumatized. And that's why oftentimes we don't need more input. We need places where philosophia, the love of wisdom can actually touch us. That's why this is silent. Nothing's being done for us here. It's up to us and our imagination to say this matters to me. So I will honor these things. And that's the footprint here at Olandar, is that for the 39 years we've lived here, we have always honored the conversation and not corrected people and told them to think this way or that way, but to hold, as we do in the Philosopher's Garden, a seat for those that wish to attend and understand that it is the stories we tell and it is who we think we are at the end of the day that either brings us into a story we love and wish to share, or one that is full of despair and we wish we could get out of. So here in the garden, it says, honor Sophia, honor wisdom, honor love, honor that which matters to you, because things can go away in an instant. So love them, don't wait, honor them, because we all live lives in passing. We aren't here for that long. And when we honor not just ourselves, but our home, our land, our philosophia, our love of wisdom, we look to each other and say, and what do you think? And then we have a conversation, not a debate, not an argument, but an examination and a relationship that says, you're more interesting when you're not angry at everything. And when the fires pass and everything is lost, you have to rebuild according to what really matters to you. And this really matters to me. So I wanted to share it with you.